Welcome to Interpreting Asia, Interpreting Europe. This program looks at two aspects of liaison interpreting, concentration and memory. An interpreter has to focus on what is happening and has to correctly remember details. In our drama for this program, a European businessman is about to arrange some social events for his visitors. He has a good interpreter and it seems that nothing can go wrong. But what happens if the interpreter is distracted? Is it possible to interpret one conversation and focus on something else at the same time? Let's see what happens. Well, that was an excellent day. Ah, công việc hôm nay đã xong, tuyệt vời. Ừ, thế kế hoạch ngày mai thế nào? Yes, what about plan for tomorrow? Well, we're ahead of schedule, so I thought maybe you and your team might like a day off and do some sightseeing. À, công việc đã uh, xong sớm hơn là dự kiến, cho nên đây, tôi nghĩ là uh, quý vị có thể có một ngày dư ra để đi tham quan mọi nơi. Ồ, oh, thế thì hay quá. Last year, we took our Vietnamese guests to a place called Greenwich, which is on the River Thames. It's where the famous Maritime Museum is, and of course, uh, very famous for uh, Greenwich Mean Time. In Greenwich, you can have one foot in the Eastern Hemisphere and one foot in the West. Năm ngoái, uh, tôi có đưa một số uh, quý khách Việt Nam của tôi đi cái uh, khu vực Greenwich. Uh, họ ở đấy tham quan cái. Uh, cái chỗ thuyền Cathy Shark với lại có thể một chân đập ở bán cầu đấy. Đông và một chân em không uh, Chắc hôm nay em không đi đặt ở bán cầu Tây Em chỉ ở nhà à, Greenwich so, uh, Nghe nói ở đó có nhà bảo tàng hàn hải rất nổi tiếng À uh, Greenwich I uh, heard that there is a, a famous đây. maritime museum there That's right. So, um, what we'll do is we'll pick you up at 8:30 a.m. sharp from the side entrance of the Metropole Hotel. À, tôi, tôi, chúng tôi bố trí uh, có xe đón uh, quý vị vào uh, 8 giờ 30 phút ở cái uh, hotel Metropole Hotel đó đấy. And we'll take you to the center of London, which is Westminster, and there you'll catch a boat to Greenwich, and you will see some historical sites like London Bridge, Tower of London, Tate Modern, Canary Wharf. À, xe nó sẽ đưa quý vị đến uh, trung tâm London, uh, chỗ gọi em là Westminster, chỗ đó là những cái khu vực lịch sử, có uh, nhiều cái uh, chỗ hay ở đấy và nó có cái uh, uh, viện triển lãm uh, tranh dầu uh, thay ở đó đấy. And when you get to Greenwich, you'll go on the Cuddy Sark, which is a very famous uh, uh, boat, which is um, Excuse me, you're catching this. Oh, yeah, yes, the Cutty Shark. Yeah, the Cutty Shark. Um, and we've booked a restaurant for you, Fagan's, at 1.30 for 7, which is the corner of Blackheath and East End Lane. Sau đó thì chúng tôi sẽ đưa quý vị đến xuống dưới Greenwich. Ở đấy thì quý vị có thể lên tham quan trước thuyền cướp Cutty Shark. Rồi đó chúng tôi đã đặt một bàn cho bảy người ở cái khách sạn Quay Hào ở góc phố Blackheath mới lại... Uh, đường uh, Waterloo You can see that even the smallest distraction can affect the interpreter. This is especially true in a public space, such as a hotel lobby, where this dialogue is taking place. The interpreter doesn't concentrate on the conversation and begins to make mistakes. The problem starts with the mobile phone ringing. Let's see that again. The host is talking about Greenwich, famous for Greenwich Mean Time and its Maritime Museum. Listen for how the interpreter fails to deal correctly with these place names. Last year we took our Vietnamese guests to a place called Greenwich, which is on the River Thames. It's where the famous Maritime Museum is and of course uh, very famous for uh, Greenwich Mean Time. In Greenwich you can have one foot in the Eastern Hemisphere and one foot in the west. Năm ngoái, uh, tôi có đưa một số uh, quý khách Việt Nam của tôi đi cái uh, uh, khu vực quen này. Uh, họ ở đấy uh, tham quan cái uh, cái chỗ thuyền Cathy Shark với lại có thể một chân đập ở bán cầu đây. Đông và một chân uh, Em không biết. Chắc hôm nay em không đi. Đặt ở bán cầu Tây. Em chỉ ở nhà thôi. À Greenwich. So uh, uh, nghe nói ở đó có nhà bảo tàng Hàn Hải rất nổi tiếng. À uh, Greenwich. I uh, heard that there is a, a famous maritime museum there. Quite clearly, the host is confused. 
He has already mentioned the Maritime Museum, but it seems that the guest is talking about it for the first time. So what happened? The interpreter was not paying attention, missed out the information, and has caused the confusion. And there's more. Because the interpreter is distracted, he makes serious errors concerning the arrangements for lunch. Listen carefully. And when you get to Greenwich, you'll go on the Cuddy Sark, which is a very famous uh, uh, boat, which is... Um, excuse me, you're catching this. Oh, yeah, yes, the Cuddy Sark. Yeah, Cuddy Sark. Cuddy Sark. Um, and we've booked a restaurant for you, Fagan's, at 1.30 for 7, which is the corner of Blackheath and East End Lane. Sau đó thì chúng tôi sẽ đưa quý vị đến xuống dưới Greenwich. Ở đấy thì quý vị có thể lên tham quan trước thuyền cướp Cuddy Sark. Rồi đó chúng tôi đã đặt một bàn cho bảy người ở cái khách sạn Coi Quay Hào ở góc phố Blackheath mới lại đường Waterloo gì đó. The interpreter's task is to convey accurate information and the interpreter must be able to identify the vital information. If he doesn't focus on the task, then he cannot do it. If he doesn't concentrate, then he cannot remember. So, we have seen how the interpreter must concentrate. Now let's consider memory. With that very good memory, I don't think that anyone could act as a good interpreter. One of the first primary requirements for inter interpreters, I would name them like uh, listening comprehension, like note-taking and memorization. And I believe these these are three most important skills and requirements. Of course, filming someone using their memory is a little difficult. But look at these professional interpreters at work. <laughs> using memory involves three stages. Encoding. Storage. and retrieval. You can see here that in many of these situations, it is not practicable for the interpreter to use a notebook. But we are talking here of short-term memory, not the long-term memory of childhood experiences, but the immediate recall of messages, facts and figures. Listen to the experts. To a lay person, an interpreter's ability to remember large chunks of information and details may seem amazing. Though interpreters may not have a better memory than those who don't interpret, they certainly know how to use their short-term memory more efficiently than others. So for me, immediate memorization is extremely important. Particularly in the context, number one, you are unable to take notes because you are not prepared for that. Number two, the speaker speak or either very fast, but does not allow you to take note. Or number three, the circumstances there will not allow you to take note. Either you have to stand, either you're in a corner, you cannot write down, or a lot of, I mean, uh, subjective circumstances under which you are unable to take any note at all. Memory skills are among the most important abilities that differentiate an interpreter from a bilingual who doesn't interpret. The fact that we can easily remember the contents of a two-hour movie but cannot remember what has been said shows that it is easier to remember meaning. And meaning is the focus of memory in interpreting. Now, not everybody has a good memory, but fortunately, you can train your memory, and part of the preparations to be a successful liaison interpreter involves training your memory. Memory needs training, and then in training the memory for the interpreters, you've got to do a lot of exercises. The purpose of memory training is to remember more and for longer so as to expand the limitations of short-term memory, or STM. While it would be unlikely that anyone could enlarge their STM capacity 
significantly over a short period of time, it is possible to help trainees organize information better, enabling them to store more information and remember it for longer. Uh, since the time when we were the students, we often practice to train our memory by reading the passage in, um, well, uh, the, uh, our mother tongues, Vietnamese, of course, and in English. And the passage at first was around, just say, 50 words, and then we read the longer and the longer passage, 100, 150, 200, and even we read the passage as long as 400 words or more. One effective way of training students to organize the information better is to do logical analysis of the passages heard. Usually, we start with short, well-organized and logically structured passages and ask the students, students to give the information back once they've heard it. We focus first on the gist of the whole passage and the links within it. By remembering the keywords and the logical links, interpreters can recall what was said in the original speech, and the detailed recording can be emphasized at a later stage of training. The passages used gradually become longer and less well organized, more representative of the kinds of speech most interpreters need to deal with in the course of their work. Well, students can always um, uh, train themselves to have a good short-term memory. For example, uh, they can just follow TV or radio programs to uh, do the shadowing exercises by, by themselves. They just uh, follow the uh, speaker of TV or radio and they repeat the same thing of the speaker uh, in order to get good short-term memory. The interpreter uses various techniques to help and improve memory. Categorization, generalization, comparison, and mnemonics. You can train your memory yourself. If you want to be a good interpreter, start from now. When you've just heard a speech or talk on TV or radio, or have read a report, a story, or anything that interests you, try to give back as much information as you can. But don't forget that, from a long-term perspective, building up your knowledge is a fundamental way to improve memory performance. Trying to remember something that you are already familiar with is much easier than trying to remember something that's brand new. This program has been about the need for focus and concentration, and about the important role of memory. You must use your short-term memory all the time. Memory is like a muscle. It can be trained. And finally, memory comes first. Your notes back it up. But taking notes is the topic of the next program. Don't forget to watch it.